hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time of stopping by thank you welcome if you've been following hope for a while thank you i love you so much don't forget to like subscribe comment and share my videos so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this flawless beat you can see right on your screen from beginning to the end of the beat so stay tuned relax and watch till the end bye Okay guys, I've drawn a brow, so I'm going to be going in with my high shadow now. And I'm tapping it into her eyelid to get my transition colors. So I'm going to that's a matte eyeshadow, and that's what we use for transitions to give your eyeshadow this kind of um, different shade from the original eyeshadow you want to put in there. So I'm just going to be doing it in form of a circle, like to follow the high, her high shape. You can see that I'm raising up her brow so that I can see the whole eyes. I'm using my left hand to raise up her eyes very well. So I'm blending it into a high lid, like in form of a semicircle kind of. So I'll blend and blend and blend it in into the lid so there's something about eyeshadow you have to blend it or else to not come out nice so i'll just keep blending it then i'll be contouring the outer corner of the over eyes and that's what i'm doing using another color for my Mercala cosmetics um eyeshadow you can see that the color is darker than the one i use for the transition so just going in like that to contour the outer corner of her eyes. You can beautify the eyes. So next, I'll be going in with my eyeshadow primer, and I'm using the House of Tara eyeshadow base, just to make my eyeshadow pop out very well. And I'm just tracing our uh, original eye as I'm raising the eye up so that I can see the full eyes. So you're just going to do something like a semicircle. So tough, you can see what I'm doing on the eyelid after the, with the eyeshadow. And I'm using a um, color like that that is kind of golden, golden yellow color. So I'm just tapping it into my eyeshadow base. You can see the pigment. And it's just going to bring out the pigment of the eyeshadow because I have concealer on the eyelid already, then I have another primer on the eyelid. So, I'm just adding that color on a lid following my um, my eyeshadow base line. Yeah, so, you have to draw your eyeshadow base properly because that's what you trace out when you are putting your eyeshadow on it. So, I'm going to be mixing these colors. So, I'll be adding another deeper gold color like on this. Other part of the eye, you can see that I'm not putting the whole eyeshadow on, the, on all the leads, so I'm going in with another shade of gold at the end. It's almost the same thing with the one I use in doing the eye contour, but I think this one is shimmer. Shimmer is all this one that, that is only shining, the matte is just the normal eyeshadow that looks chalky. But this one is shimmer stars of this shine shine stuff so i'm just going to be applying it at the center that way so you can add as many colors as you want in your eyeshadow just know that you have to blend your eyeshadow so you're not looking like masquerade so i've added about four colors in this eyeshadow now and when i finish you will even know that i used four colors Okay, so I'm blending everything in using my eyeshadow blending brush. You can see that I just want everything to go in smoothly. 
okay so now i'm going in with my um pigment that i'm using is called pigment it's just to pronounce my eyeshadow the more you can see that it's now shiny better than when i had it just the eyeshadow it's called a pigment so at this point i've added blue on my lashes so i'm just waiting for it to dry so the q7 i just showed you now in selling water on my wipes so that's what i'm using to clean off all the excess makeup on my face so now i'm going in with my primer from fire gold cosmetics and that's what i'm just using on the skin then next my illuminator you already know my color cosmetics so i'm just going to blend in that in to our skin like that so my lash is ready i'll just be fixing that directly on top of our initial like a natural lash so that's where my lash line is that's what i'm trying to do i'm fixing that using a tweezer it's very easy to fix lashes like simple so i just put it in like that and i did the second one too so i'm going in with my foundation i'm using the zika cosmetics foundation i already told you the color so Blending it in using my foundation brush this time. Don't forget, I already prepared that skin using Q7. Then I added primer, fry gold, then I added illuminator. Now I'm going away my foundation. So next I'm going in with my highlights and I'm using the medium beige maybe yes medium beige um, shade from Elega Pro Concealer underneath her eyes you don't want too much um, concealer to you know just a bit is fine it's not about the quantities about how you can blend it in properly okay so let's be blending that in we're tapping it from the bottom like that then it goes straight underneath her eyes so like i said in my other in my first video that you don't have to blend everything like everything 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 into the foundation just blend slightly but to make it ash let it slip into the skin so that's what i'm doing right there just keep blending, blending and blending. So you can see how neat the skin looks now, like it's really popping. Shelly underneath her eyes. That's the purpose of highlights to make that part glow more than the other part of the face. So I'm just trying to blend in my um, highlights with my translucent powder and I'm using um, Elegance Beauty powder palette. I have a translucent powder in that palette, a white powder kind of. So it makes my highlights like calm and you know natural. So I'm going with my setting powder now, such a buttercup setting powder. I'm going to be applying that all over my highlighted areas so this process is called baking so that my it can absorb all the oil underneath the highlight and you know refresh the highlight and make it come out nice that's the purpose of the setting powder to set the face and make it finer so let's be doing that like that So it's contour time, so I'm going to be contouring her nose straight down from the end of her brows downwards her nose using a nose contour brush. So I'm just going to be doing a powder contour, a very slight contour. 
you know she's light and you don't want to use it dark you don't want anything dark stroke or any dark something on her face so i'm just trying to be careful so i'm going to end up having a very dark nose so i'm using the elegance beauty powder palette i have this powder in stock if you want to buy six thousand naira. very good powder it has a translucent powder it has blush and it has i think about um many shades now 10 shades powder in this palette and it's just six thousand here i deliver asap <laughs> okay so just still blending and blending and blending to make sure that my nose is smashed So I'm contouring her airline and other parts of her face that I want to be pronounced. That is what I'm contouring using my bigger contour brush. Like your contour brush has to be, you know, just have this shape kind of. It's not going to be a round brush, it's not going to be a flat brush. It should just be like a bigger angle brush so that it can go at once and contour all of those parts you want to contour properly. So next I'm doing a under line, uh, um, under high, high liner rather. So I'm using the um, marble pencil, the black pencil, this pencil here is the bump, I think it's 3.5 also. It's very dark and but sometimes when I use it on myself, I still, I still just have it like the second day, the third day, matter I try washing it off, it's so dark and nice. You can see the effect. Okay, so we've done the gele while we allow the um, setting powder to keep baking. So I'm just going to be blending in the powder i'm not dusting it off like that i'm just blending it into the skin so that i can use my finishing powder now so i'm using um finishing powder so i'm using my elegance beauty powder palette as my finishing powder so i'm just tapping the powder into a skin like that you can see how clean the skin is. You can see that the foundation is now fitting into a skin color. Okay, so just blending down with my powder brush properly, and because we don't need gel, so I'm, try I'm trying to be very careful that I don't stain the gel with my powder brush. So just trying to save time while the face was setting, I'm just trying to get it alongside. So I use a splash of blue under her eyes for my Makala Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. I just did that under her eyes. So I'm going in with my lipstick now from Uda Beauty and I'm just trying to form the V shape part of her lip. You can see the way I'm doing that. Just trying to form a V so that my lips will be nice so I'll move it in like that 
and I keep adding my lipstick so there are process for everything you just apply lips and leave so I have to stretch our lips so that I can line it properly so I'm lining the corners of our lips then I'm using that brush to blend alongside with the way I'm applying it that lipstick is very very matte that's why it's looking cracked so just watch how we were able to scale through this lips so I tried to achieve um, an ombre lipstick by adding another color like a orange like an orange so next I'll be going in with a lip gloss just directly on it so that I can reduce the mattness of the lipstick so I can make it glossy I really don't like matte lipstick I like it glossy <laughs> So I'm adding a lip gloss on it. So it's spray time and I'm using um, the Nuba Beauty Fix Spray and my Karite um, Illuminator Glue like it's like it's in form of um, spray also So guys thank you for stopping by this is the final look um, I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe like share and comment thank you see you in my next video bye